A man convicted of fatally shooting his son, execution style, after the boy admitted to molesting his sister, was sentenced to 37 to 80 years in prison. Jamar Pinkney Sr. of Highland Park was sentenced Thursday by Wayne County Circuit Judge Brian Sullivan in the November 16th death of Jamar Pinkney Jr. He beat him, stripped him naked, paraded him down the street. The only inference which can be drawn is to humiliate him and take his life, said Sullivan. On April 1st, Pinkney was convicted of murder, three counts of felony assault, and one count of felony firearm. At Pinkney's sentences, the victim's family members appeared in court wearing t-shirts that memorialized Jamar Pinkney Jr. His mother held back tears as the red statement uh, to the judge, I will never hear his voice again. I will never see a smile. He took away something from me. When he put matters into his own hands, he was the judge, the jury, and the executioner. Your Honor, I ask you, he needs to spend the rest of his life in jail, said Yolanda Cherry. Before Pickney was hauled away, he apologized to his family and said that he would forever be hunted by what he had done. I am glad and satisfied with the decision. I am glad it is over with and I can put it behind me when I can start healing, said Cherry's outside of the courtroom. Wayne County prosecutor said Jamar Pickney Sr. marched his 15-year-old son out of his home in Highland Park on November 16, 2009 led him into a vacant lot and fatally shot him. The boy lived in the Highland Park home with his mother. According to prosecutors, Pigney Sr., 37 at the time, went to the home and questioned his son about the incident involving the three-year-old uh, half-sister. During his trial, Pigney took the witness stand and said he initially found it hard to believe his son molested the girl. I couldn't believe that my son would do something like that to his sister. He said he didn't do anything. Uh, we questioned him maybe an hour and a half, and he completely denied doing anything, Pickney said. But then Pickney said his son later admitted to molesting his younger sister without going into detail. He said, Daddy, I'm sorry. You can forgive me. But when Pickney Sr. said he had a final conversation with the boy, he heard shocking details of what happened. He said, I got up from the couch and went to the bedroom. I pulled my shorts and underwear off, and I got on top of her, Pickney said. When he was asked how he responded to that news, Pickney said, that's when I lost it. Police said when the boy's mother and another female relative tried to intervene, Pickney Sr. pointed the weapon at the women and forced his son to leave home and walked him into the vacant lot. Pickney Sr. had been charged with first-degree murder. It's a horrific case. There are no winners in this case, said defense attorney David Draper. Um, I heard he's a good attorney. Regardless of the verdict, Everybody loses because we've lost this wonderful young man. Our client loses because he's going to spend a great deal of time in prison and have the rest of his life to relive the case. Defense attorney Corbett Edge O'Mara said the 37-year-old Pickney won't be eligible for parole until 2046. O'Mara said he is disappointed with the sentence and expects Pickney to appeal. He also said he had hoped that Pickney would have received the lower end of the sentencing guidelines, which started at 18 years. And um, <clears throat> this was published by uh, Click on Detroit. You did. It was April 18th. Excuse me, April 15th, 2010. Doesn't say who the writer is, but you already know I'm going to tag you in it. What do y'all think about that? I need y'all opinions. Leave y'all opinions down there in the comments, man. Y'all know I'm about to go away, so leave me a bunch of comments. So when I come home, I can respond to them and we can run it up as we're doing now. So thank you for all the support and love. Me personally, if you want my opinion, uh, I can't say too much on here, but I will say this. I'm not mad at the father. I'm not mad at the father. Was it a better way around it? Of course. If I was in that situation, I don't think I would have took his life, but that boy would have been, he would have been bruised head to toe, and it would have been hard for him to perform any of those type of acts again. And, you know, I probably would have got the same amount of time as he would have. You know, without killing the boy. You did on tomorrow. So, I think they over him. They should have started at 18 because a father finding his son, or excuse me, his daughter molested. That's a hard pill to swallow. Come on, man. We can't act like we perfect, bro. A lot of us would have lost it. You, you forever changed that little girl's life. She's going to remember that. Three years old, you remember a lot of stuff. And I hope she don't, but damn. This is a messed up situation. I remember this happening vividly. Like I said, you get the raw here because I know what's going on. Other people got to ask people what, what went on over the years. It's going on in the city for us. This true crime stuff. I know because I lived it. I've been in it. I've seen it. Heard about it. 
been in jail with these particular people. And I was in jail with him, real cool, laid back dude, um, bought his business, straight up. Peace and blessings be upon y'all. Let me know how y'all feel. Doodoo.